Hello, super quick intro. Today I'm going to be showing you the solution for the Hanayama Lebe puzzle. Which means I'm going to show you the only solution or the only way through those mazes to separate those two pieces. And then we're going to do the reverse and show you the only way back in to reassembling that Lebe puzzle into its original position. So let's get straight on with it. Okay, so here is a fully assembled Lebe puzzle. Now this, the easiest way for me to show you the routine to solve in this one is by sticking with one of the two mazes. Now it does mean that there's going to be movements that seemingly don't make sense in relation to the maze on top, but they do make sense when considering the maze on the bottom as well. So first thing we need to do is identify which of the mazes we're going to be seeing and sort of moving through. And the, way we're, the easiest way to do that is, if you can't do it visually just by looking at it and seeing, right, yep, yeah, this is the one, then use the labor piece on here. And if it's on the right hand side of the puzzle, we want the Y on top of the Y of the word labor and the L at the bottom. So we're in this position here. Another way of identifying it is using the pegs that we're guiding the mazes through. And the one on the outside is the one that we're gonna be guiding, or the, yeah, the one that we're gonna be guiding through the maze that we can see. Now once you've got that, I'm going to keep this nice and close to the camera so it's easy to follow through. And the next things we need to know are where we're going into the puzzle and where we're coming out of the puzzle. Where we're coming out isn't that relevant right now, but it is going to be out of this gap down here or this exit over here. And there's three ways in to the top maze, the maze that we're looking at. There's no gaps over here. And of these three that are on the left hand side, we're going to be entering into the top one, the furthest north. And we're going to be entering, and as we enter, we're entering both mazes at the same time. So there's a gap at the bottom, which you may be able to see there. There's two very close entrances. The one on the right is that we're going to be going through for the bottom maze. It's not really that important because you, it's the only one that you can go into at the same time as we're entering the top maze. So we're going to enter both mazes at the same time into this position here. Okay. And what we're going to do is we're going to move around the puzzle slightly until we get to a point where we can go from that inside track and turn outside to here. We're then going to go back on ourselves very slightly into here so we can turn out and pretty much get square on with the labor piece to the actual maze. From here, with a slight bit of force until you wear a click, we're going to swap sides with that labor piece. So we were here, with a little bit of force, we end up here. Now here, we're going to slide around the maze until we get to these two gaps in here. And we're going to push through both of those gaps. And then we're going to slide around the outside of the puzzle until we meet these two exit points here. Once we get to here, we're actually going to come out of the maze here and we're going to go slide around and we're going to go back in through that second hole, that second exit point. Once we get to here, we're going to immediately go through that gap there. We're going to come back onto ourselves slightly here. Now this move is a tricky one because we're going through two parts or two sections on each maze at the same time. So we're going from the outside track and the middle track to the inside track and the middle track. So that makes very little sense verbally, but we're going from here, passing through two pieces to here. So again, from here, passing through at the same time to here. So now we're on the inside track and the, at the top and the middle track at the bottom. And we're gonna go around the maze we twist around to this position until we get to here. We're going to bring both of those pegs into the middle track now. And we're going to keep sliding around until we can't slide around any further. What we're then going to do, it's very easy to go wrong based on the bottom side maze right now. But as long as you sort of get to the end here and then come back slightly but and then turn out. So we're in the outside track now with that inside piece. And from here, we just need to twist around and we can separate both pieces from there. 
and to reassemble these two pieces back into that middle position we're essentially just reversing that routine through that same maze so make sure you've got the right maze to start with the way to identify this one is if you look on the gaps around the outside there are only two that are very similar to each other and the one on the top has two gaps to its left so just use that to identify it from there in terms of which pieces are the labor piece we want the y at the top and the l at the bottom so we're in from this position we're turning it into this position here okay and we're entering through these two gaps here and once I've entered it into this position here we're going to turn the puzzle here and we're going to keep this orientation throughout the whole thing again. So from here from this position we are going to come back slightly and then turn the back of the labor puzzle into that groove. We're then going to slide around to this position we're going to turn the outside to the inside, if that makes sense. Just follow the movements if you don't understand what I've just said. We're then going to slide around the maze till we get to the end here. And again, this movement is very slight, but with both pegs, we're coming out into this position here. Okay. We're then going to come back on ourselves slightly. And we're now going to bring that outside piece to the outside in here so we're out of the puzzle here we're sliding back and we're going back into the maze through that second hole there we then slide around the outside of the maze and we come through so if we're here we now turn through those two gaps so that we end up square on with the labor piece. Just for ease, we're going to swap the labor piece over here. So a slight little bit of force and a little click will get you into this position. And we're then going to keep going around the outside until we get to here. Now we need to work our way back in. So there is a gap just in there to turn inside to. We're then going to come back on ourselves and come through a second gap. And we then stay on the inside of the maze until we get both of these two pegs back through their original gaps in the mazes. And we have reassembled the labor puzzle. So there it is, that is the route through the labor puzzle to get those two pieces separated and then the reverse solution to get them back together. And hopefully this solution was simple enough to follow along too. The, the tough bit is the moves that you can't see in the maze that's underneath. That's the tough bit. It's fairly straightforward following the maze on the one that you can see. But as long as you do those little twists of sort of like the back end of that labor piece, then you'll follow the right moves for the bottom maze as well. But if you do run into any problems or you want to ask any questions, please comment below and I will help you as much as I possibly can. And if you want to see me struggle through the labor puzzle for the first time or any of these other Hanayama puzzles and the step-by-step -step solutions to each and every one of them, then make sure you click my face here to subscribe and I will see you next time. Peace!